Hello and welcome to the Stover Farm Channel. I'm so glad to have you here with me while we build something together, a speed build. And I think one of the more challenging aspects of this game is managing the terrain. Whether or not you're putting buildings or placeable items in certain areas that aren't perfectly flat, or you're trying to make roads uh, or uh, fields and areas that have elevation changes, it can be challenging. And when you get into some really extreme elevation changes, roadways become, well, really difficult to create. There are some great mod makers and map makers out there that have, that have created switchbacks in their games. And I wanna show you how I make switchbacks in the mountains. So enough talking, let's get into it. We are gonna take this blank map and make this. And I'm hoping to do this in 60 minutes or less, and I've got even more on the line here because I've added some cameras to the studio, my basement, uh, and you're going to see me making this map. So hopefully I don't mess up. Let's jump right into it. Uh, right here, the game. Where are we? We are in No Man's Land. Why do I choose No Man's Land? It's just a great map uh, to play in. There are other maps that are similar to it that have really no farms on them to begin with, no roadways. Uh, no Man's Land is just the one that I've gotten really accustomed to, and that's uh, what I use. I have gone ahead and I have purchased up here uh, a ton of land. Like we're gonna focus probably in the upper right hand corner of this map. And we've got plenty of money. We have uh, nothing on the map right now. There's no mods here. We're really just focusing again on the roadway as we bring it down from the very top of this peak, uh, moving down into the valley and doing so in a way that isn't just a straight line. It's gonna have curves. It's gonna be really difficult if you try and take a truck up this road. You're gonna need some power. Here we go. All right, I need to get the clock running for myself and I don't even know where I put my phone. I should probably think about, um, you know, I don't know, maybe getting a clock for the screen. I could really really make it difficult for myself but you know for now stopwatch it's going on my phone let's see if we can do this uh we're in flight mode right now and i'm gonna jump into easy dev i am on a mac computer so i'm running the game on a mac and i have the advantage of running script mods this, what you're looking at right here, is Easy Dev Control. It is spectacular. Those that know what it is, you've already got it, you're already using it. If you don't have it and you are running a Mac or PC, go get it immediately. Um, for all intents and purposes, it is the, uh, the god mode of the game. You can control every aspect. I'm going to keep my running multiplier on, but I'm going to turn my flight mode off, but I am going to turn my delete object input on because I want to get rid of some of these trees. Look at that, they just go away. Yes. I've got a couple of videos out there if you're really interested in getting rid of trees fast. There are other ways to do this if you don't have, uh, you know, a Mac or PC. There uh, are some mods available for console uh, that you can download that makes getting rid of trees very easily because trees are one of the more difficult things to get rid of in the game because they leave the stump. Uh, and you, you know, you got to cut them down and when they do cut down, like they fall over and they die and you got to cut them up and they're just, they're a mess. They're all over the place. Okay. So I've kind of got the top of my map, uh, cleaned up. I just wanted to get rid of a couple of those trees up there because I want my roadway to start here at the top. 
uh, and it's going to wind down through this, uh, well, through these trees. But I've got to do it in a way that it is like a switchback on a mountain. So we've got to flatten some of the land. And I should probably move my character uh, in the game. If you have your character um, in the way, it won't let you do some things. So I'm just going to run all the way over here. Then go back into my edit game mode. And we shall begin. Here's a little trick. If you want to flatten a very you know, large area of land, you can certainly go into landscaping. Uh, go into leveling and you can start leveling out what you know what you want or you can go into buildings and you can find like a building uh, really any building um, this is one of snake bizzles buildings it's huge so if I like drop this right here um, it overlaps come on I said I was gonna do it there we go so I drop that right there and then I delete it um, yes, it kind of does exactly what I wanted it to do. It flattened that out completely for me. It's a little extreme, but I'm, I'm doing that because I want to show how you can really slope uh, the terrain and, and make it so that um, it, it's not just like using the leveling tool, or not the leveling tool, but the sloping tool. Because we could just theoretically come in here with the sloping tool and set a point where we want to slope to by clicking the right uh, mouse button. So let's say we wanted to slope up to that and then we come down to the area we want to start at. We can hold that down and we can move up to the point that we put um, the the end point on. And... and Honestly, if, if you're not really comfortable with the game, this is a way that you can do it. It's fairly quick, fairly straightforward. It's linear, though. And, you know, from here, we could then jump down and we could, like, put another endpoint there. And we could slope from here and move up and then smooth this out. And you kind of get, you know, your switchbacks in there. I'm, I might use the, the sloping tool, but I'm not going to use it exclusively. What I'm going to start with is I'm, I'm going to kind of map out where I want to go first. So I'm going to come into decorations, uh, excuse me, landscaping and painting. And I want to get uh, a landscape that I can follow to see where I want my road to go. And while I'm doing this, please bear with me. I'm not, I didn't build this ahead of time, uh, delete everything and start new um, just so that I could hit record. I'm doing this with you. I could very easily mess this up and you'll see me do it. Now, I, I guess I do have the power of publishing it or not, but, you know, I think I would probably still publish it, maybe. I don't know, I haven't messed up on one yet so maybe when the time comes I might think differently about that but for now yeah I would publish it okay so I want my road to do this maybe I put like a really tight switch back up here as we're coming down into the valley because this is you know no man's land is pretty much in a valley uh, you've got mountains on the out uh, outskirts. And then you've got the valley. So there we go. Let's do that. So we're going to make this our road. And we're going to end somewhere down here. And you could take this out as far as you want. I'm just going to end it at some point. Because, well, again, we've only got 60 minutes to do this. And I don't even know if I'm going to succeed as it is. Starting point up here. Do we need to put something down for like our starting point in like a building or something? Um, let's go into productions. Maybe look for a factory. Something cool. Oil mill. No. Grain mill. No. Where's like a... There we go. The iron... The mine shaft. Right here. So at the very top of the mountain... We've got iron peaks up there, so we've got to get, you know, the iron ore down from the top of the mountain uh, to 
the valley down there somewhere. So here we go. I'm going to go into my landscaping tool. We're going we're to follow this uh, contour of land. And what I'm going to do is start um, flattening out the, um, the areas where the roadway is first. So I am going to use my leveling tool. But I'm going to use my leveling tool in a different way than you've probably done it before. Usually you level... Uh, you know, you're like, I want to flatten this out, so you, you start flattening, and it flattens one area. I'm going to actually flatten just by tapping my mouse, so I, like, I get some flattening, um, and then I'm going to slowly start moving. And I'm actually using a pretty heavy uh, strength on this. So I'm not holding the mouse button down very long. But I'm just running along the roadway where I want my road to go. And I've got a very big swath too, like my brush is quite large. And while I'm doing this, again, I will always say that there are probably a million different ways that you can do this. This is just the way that I am doing this. Um, someone else much better than I am could do it completely differently. Um, there's no, like, if you've got a better way to do it, do it, please. Um, tell me how you do it. Um... You know, I think one of the best things we can do as a community is, is help each other out. Um, and I know there's a lot of mods that we typically focus on. And sometimes we forget that the game is set up so that we can make things ourselves. Uh, Map-wise. So, help each other out. Especially if you're on console. It can be really, really difficult. Uh, for console players that they see all these really awesome things that the Mac and PC players do get and you know they they just they want to have some fun as well uh, and you could do this on on PC or on uh, excuse me on console if you wanted to and this looks terrible like this looks awful right now and you're like Stover what in the hell are you doing like this this is not gonna work and I'll be honest, like, right now, I'm kind of feeling that way as well. <laughs> I, I feel like it's going to work. You've already seen the after pictures, so... Uh, it has to work, right? Again, I'm just... I'm moving along here. And I'm, none of the, I'm not trying to make anything super smooth or flat. I'm just trying to get a general... Um, you know, path of where this road is going to go. Okay. And I will make a note that you, you need more, I think, space for roads than you think you do. Um, so I'm going to start kind of making this a little wider. Again, looks terrible. Bear with me. Just stay with me. Uh, we're we're going to have something pretty cool, I think. Okay, now, we're here. So what I'm going to begin doing is I'm going to start sloping this. I'm going to start softening, and I'm going to start sloping some things. So I'm going to come in here and start softening this area a little bit. And I'm probably just going to work from the top down. Don't forget about the areas next to the road as well. 
um, the turnoffs, the run out. Um, this, you know, we need to make sure that the slope of the terrain isn't too extreme or we would never get a vehicle up it. I do believe that 22 is better with softening uh, and sloping than 19 ever was. I, I will be candid. I never... I'm fogging up here. Can you believe that? Like, you've got me nervous, folks. I've got to unfog my glasses. There we go. The beauty of, of being on camera. Um... I, I, you know, I believe 22 is, again, better with uh, terrain management. I didn't play 19, though, so I don't know. And what we will end up doing in a lot of these areas is putting some rocks, um, adding trees to try and really make it uh, feel like a switchback road. So right here, things are going pretty well. Pretty smooth. We've got the... Um, the curve going fairly nicely. Now, I'm going to switch over to the raise and lower tool, and I'm going to actually lower my strength significantly. And I'm just going to come in here and start tapping, and I'm going to start trying to raise my road in areas that I feel like I need to raise out here. Very softly. I don't want to mess up um, what I've already done. What I'm trying to do here is give it a little bit of a bank, very subtle. Okay, and now over here, I'm gonna I'm gonna use the lowering tool and just very subtle. Try and bring that down right there. You can change the size of your tool if you need to. But again, the goal of this was to create not just a, um, like a, a, a two-dimensional, you know, you come down and you just turn, but actually some banking to it. Now you can switch back over into the softening tool, and you can soften this a little bit to just fix any errors that you might have had. See a tree levitating there. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that. I'm pretty happy with that curve right there. So let's let's look at this. We're gonna slowly walk down here and let's come down to this area and make our curve down here. So first thing I'm gonna do is soften. I'm gonna soften as well as I can, or as much as I can first. And you can see that, like, I got off a little bit there. The, really, the road is, is going to cut back. It's okay. That, um, you know, the painting, the ground, was really just for a general idea of where the road is going to be. So, again, I'm still using the softening tool here with a very light strength. I don't want a heavy strength on this. Okay, now I'm going to come back into my raising and lowering tool again. Very low strength. And I want this to start to have a little bit of a descending radius right here. I'm 
I'm going to go to a smaller brush. I might actually make this a little uh, indented. So again, we're going to have... This is going to be kind of mountainous. So this does not have to be perfectly smooth. We'll have rock and we'll have trees and we'll have grass along here. It's okay to have these kind of sheer cliffs. Not to mention the roadway kind of has to come over a little bit. Uh, and you could, you could I mean, go crazy with stuff like this. You could make a little, like, creek or stream that, um, you know, follows the road down. There's, there's a million different things that you could do. I'm not going to come into my leveling tool because I kind of made a couple mistakes there. And I want to level that off just a little bit. And notice that the way I'm doing this, I am trying to orient my camera view in a way that I can see where I want my road to be. So I'm not, I'm not over here on like a 90 degree um, to this, doing it this way. I'm looking right down the road so that I can get a really good idea of, of where I want this road to be. And I'm building up areas where I need to build up areas. And I'm tapping, so I'm, it's not completely straight. It's got a little bit of a slope to it. Um, and, and we're going to, again, use the raisin lowering tool to add or subtract to that slope uh, as we go. Okay, so softening or, or very light pressure on the tool here. This is the raising and lowering tool. And we're gonna we're gonna build kind of the slope on this. So I I need to lower this. So I need to lower this a little bit. Very wide brush right here. Just ever so slightly tapping right there. Bringing it down. bringing it out so we keep the road surface um, you know as, as level as we can if we make a mistake that's okay so we made a little mistake right there we're going to raise that back up I need to kind of bend it in a little bit right here. And when in doubt, get your smoothing tool out. Smooth it out. So that obviously would not work for a road right there, but we'll come into our softening tool. We're just going to soften this out. going to be a very dangerous road. It's going to come down into here. Almost need like a little runoff area over here in case you were to, you know, to lose your brakes or something like that. So you, you could build that. You could come into your uh, leveling tool and we could level something out like right here. Make a little lookout. Smoothing, smoothing, smooth this out a little bit. I 
And you're always going to be fine tuning this stuff because you're, you know, you're going to find after you get your roadway painted, you get your grass down, um, and you're not happy with something and you need to make some modifications. You know, you drive a vehicle through here and it's just way too bumpy. Um, you know, you'll make modifications. And we should probably, because, again, it feels like the road is going that way, I'm going to come back over here to my painting tool. And I'm just going to, you know, redirect where we were. So let's, let's throw some grass down. Because that is not going to be the roadway anymore. Instead, the roadway is going to come kind of like this. And then it'll swing back, and now we'll start our descent down here. So now we're, we're working on this portion. So we're going to do the exact same thing, landscaping into our sculpting tool, into our softening tool. We're going to soften this out. I might increase the strength just a little bit here. We're going to do most of our sculpting, though, with the raise and lower tool, I think, for this. But I do want to soften this out as, as much as I can. And you could, again, in here, if, if this were driving you crazy and you wanted to just use the sloping tool, you could do some complex angles and complex curves with the sloping tool. It's, it's not out of the... Um, you know, not out of question. In fact, we can try it right here. So we, what you could do, um, again, you could click where you want to go. So I right clicked up here and let's say I'm going to start right here. So I'm going to hold down and that's going to flatten that. And I, I can't really make curves with the sloping, the sloping, the slope tool, but I can um, redirect based on the angles of the game. So then I can do that. Now I could come up here and I could right click there. Now I could start here and I could move up this way. Same thing here. So if I want to, you know, get to there and I want to start here, I can move up that way. And, and again, that might be exactly what you need for this road. That might have helped us um, tremendously right there. That's the great thing about this game is, you're, you know, you're just, you're having fun. Have fun. Have fun. Um, don't get discouraged. You can try it. You can do it. Uh, if you mess up, exit out, start a new game, try it again. So again, we're just softening this. We used that sloping tool to our advantage. That did help us. I feel like it really did. The only difference is it doesn't have the same kind of banking there. So we might, and not that you would have banking on all your curves, but I likely need to do come, in, come into my raising and lowering tool and I need to do, do some very subtle, um, very soft um, uh, pressure here and, and kind of just sculpt this a little bit. And I might need to raise this a little bit. And you, you would, if you were thinking about it from like a, a drainage standpoint, you, you would need to have some, um, you know, slope on your, on your road. Now, I am not a civil engineer. I'm, I'm not going to tell you exactly what you need, but I just driven some of these roads before. I um, feel like when I go like on switchbacks like this, again, the, the curve is not exactly flat. So I'm raising that up just a little bit. I'm lowering this over here. And then I'm coming into my softening tool and I'm softening the area. Um, to ch again, try and make it as smooth as possible. And, and we're going to go back completely and, and add a road in here. And uh, we're getting down to the bottom, so we'll probably be able to do that fairly soon. So just continuing to soften, 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 soften. 
Now here, where I use the leveling tool, I might have to come back into my, or excuse me, the sloping tool. I might come back into the leveling tool because I want to now get my road back level. And it kind of goes back up here for just a moment. Kind of weird, but it does. And we need to get rid of those trees down there too. So let's uh, let's follow the road down. Floating trees in the air. We're going to have to put a ton of trees back in, so do not do not worry. We will put trees back in. Okay. Now let me get myself out of the way. My controller has turned off. Go back into my edit mode. There we go. I do run an Xbox controller when I, when I play the game. Uh, I think it works really well. It connects to the map really, or to the Mac really nicely. No issues. And I, you know, I use that in a combination of a keyboard. So this is a little far-fetched here. We're going, like, back up and then making a, a curve around. But that's okay. We'll give it a shot. Uh, let me come into my lowering tool, so I might just very softly kind of pinch that around like that. There is a water plane on this map. I don't think I'm going to hit it, but, you know, you, in theory, could. I think it's also really nice if you do, um, you know, as you're making roads, that you, you don't have your road level with, like, um, the grass around it. So, like, Make your road higher or lower. Like, make their, make some, make a shoulder, I guess is what I'm trying to get at. This looks absolutely terrible right here, but that's okay. Probably raise a little bit here. This is going to be a very, very sharp curve. softening tool. What type of maps are you all working on right now? I'd, I'd love to hear about it. Um, I'll be honest, the game... I've gotten a little bored again with the game. I hate to admit that. I really do. I, I feel like there's an ebb and flow... Um, that comes and goes with mods. We get some really, really good releases, and then there's there are these lulls where we don't have anything, especially from the from the in-game mod hub. Uh, I will say that there's a there's a ton of independent modders that are uh, creating content or creating mods, which I think is awesome. There's also a lot of negativity going on right now in the world of mods, and I'm not going to get into it, but. I, I wish we could all just enjoy the game. Um, you know, it is a game. It's probably one of the, the um, most relaxing, like, therapeutic games you can play. There's no violence. Uh, there's, you know, and I like violent games every now and again. Like, I like a first-person shooter. I think, I think they're fun. Um, but this is supposed to be a very stress-free, relaxing game. Um, I wish we could return to that. That's all I'm going to say. Alright. 
we're, we're about... <laughs> that looks terrible right there. We're going to fix that, though. Don't worry. And this looks kind of awful, too. Like, why would you... Why would it go back up right there? I don't know. we got to fix that. Okay. Landscaping. Let's fix this. This would need to be higher as it is. This would honestly probably need to be low. I raised that up and I shouldn't have. Back into the softening tool. I might increase the strength a little bit here. And I'm just going to follow my road up. And I think our next step is going to be to actually start adding road. And that is pretty extreme right here, this this slope. So it probably wouldn't be realistic. Oh, we won't be going up there, don't worry. The road will come here. <laughs> there we go. Let's go ahead and work on some of the side, like the drop-offs. Make them nice and smooth as they come through these trees. As we snake our way up to the top of this mountain while we get up to the... Uh, the iron ore factory, and I can already tell right now that is way too steep uh, for what this road and what a truck would be able to do. So here's what we're going to do. We are going to slowly kind of cut this out. We're going to... I might go into my... No, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to keep my circular tool. I need a soft... There we go. But I think I might try and make this a little less steep. And inevitably, we would need to, like, smooth this out as well. I'm not going to really focus anywhere up on top of the mountain. I, I would rather... Um, we'll just focus on the roads. I'm going to flatten that. You know what I might do here? I might use that new point. So, there. And I might use the sloping tool and we'll come up to there. And then I'm going to right-click there. And I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna right click. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna right click. And I'm gonna do that. That might have leveled it out just enough uh, that it's not so, so steep like it was. And what we're gonna do, we're, we're gonna get a car here shortly, maybe a truck. Because I think it's really important to make sure you get your roadway to have um, the proper width to it. I've made some really bad roads um, where they're either way too short uh, or skinny uh, or they're way too fat. Uh, kind of like me. 
Uh, <laughs> which is like, it's supposed to be a two lane road and it feels like you could run, you know, four lanes down it. Okay, there we go. Now let's use our raising and lowering tool and I might raise, whoops, my strength is way too high there. So I might raise that just a little bit to give it some, just a little bit of a bank right there. And a little bit of a, of a drop there. And again, that's still, that's, you gotta be really careful. We're gonna soften that up just a touch. Like, you're probably going to tip a truck over if you try and run that. So, we're going to have to... Let's let's kind of drive it here ourselves. You're coming down. Yeah, we got to flatten that out a little bit here, folks. That is way too much... Way too much banking. That's better. Uh, and I'm, I'm not going to try and get this to absolute perfection. I know uh, if you had unlimited time, uh, you're building a, a map yourself, uh, you're probably going to spend more time on it. I'm, I want you to just see how I do it um, to get the concept. Again, or maybe you have a better way of doing it, and then tell me. Please tell me. Um, so that you can, again, you can make something really, really cool yourself. So I think we're going to probably get ready and start adding road in here. Let's soften this up. Soften this up. I'm just going to make a full pass down this road. And again, that's not going to really follow that trajectory. It's going to cut in right here. Come down here. Down to there. Okay, I, I'm pretty happy with how we've... How we've cut the road in. Uh, I would, again, probably still need a few more tweaks, but it's it's not awful. I'm going to run over and I want to set down a store delivery point, so I want to get a vehicle in here real fast. I need to check the time, too. How are we doing on this, folks? Oh my gosh, we're 40 minutes in. Stover, come on. This one might go over. I, I don't know. I don't know. Let's get a car. Uh, let's get Northwest Mods and Edits, uh, uh, F-350 here. Absolutely love this truck. We got to get a good color, though, for it. That's a great color. Let's buy that. $90,000. Okay. Oh, I forgot. I didn't, like, turn off her. It's got, like, auto start and on, so I didn't... Yeah, I forgot about that. Okay, no worries. Okay. I'm going to put my truck right here because we need to make sure we have a proper two-lane road. You can see how open wide this is right now. I'm going to leave my truck right there. We're now going to come in and we're going to start adding our roadway. And our roadway needs to be... Uh, we'll paint this in asphalt. And properly done, I think the roadway should be about maybe that wide. Just a little bit wider than that. So maybe about right there. And now we're just going to start using the template or the, the, the ground layer that we have there. And we're just going to start moving. Honestly, I might even just make it that wide. Would that be... Yeah, for a road like this? I'm trying to make it so that like I can keep standard... Landscaping, painting, asphalt. That was not that one. That was this one. 
I think I'm just gonna kinda go with that. Maybe this one or just a little wider than that. And this is where you just, having a mouse really, really, really helps. Um, if you're on console, I have been there. I know it is awful. It is damn near impossible to do this, but you can do it. Your thumbs just get really tired. Okay. We're just snaking this road up. And we're gonna we're gonna kinda class this road up a little bit. We'll put a soft shoulder. Um, we might even put a guardrail in. I'm gonna go over on time. I already I feel it. I just feel it. I hope you don't hate me. Oh, you know what? I already messed that up. Because we already said I was going to turn that. Hold on. That's the beauty of... We're just painting. That's the really nice thing about this. Right? What we're doing right here is just painting. So we wanted this road to come a little bit more... Like this. This particular area. Now we're going to start our way up. And you could do this in gravel, you can do it whatever you want. I'm just using asphalt because uh, I am. There's no real rhyme or reason to it. There's that little turnout area. We will make that into something. And I have no clue. I'd be really curious to know how the map makers make these areas on like in Giants Editor. I, I don't know how you do terrain in Giants Editor. Okay. And this is this is a very rough paint job up to the top here and there'd be a parking lot up here there'd probably be you know some gravel so that we could pick up the iron ore okay now I'm gonna do what I do a lot of and that is I'm gonna put grass down I am going to take just a moment come into my sculpting tool into my softening tool I'm going to go to a very strong setting, and I'm going to try to just soften a little of this out, because this, this is bugging me. Even though it's not really part of what we're doing, you'd have, you know, a ton of time to make that however you want. Okay. Uh, I'm going to come in, I'm going to grab my grass. Now, I think this is where you can start to... You might start to see the road actually take shape. Let's use meadow grass. Again, grass is all different on all different types of maps. Uh, for No Man's Land, you get this uh, really, like, thick, luscious, uh, very green meadow grass. And I'm going to put this down along the sides... I'm not going to paint everything in. I'm just going to try and focus here on the side of the road. Because I'm going to have some... Um, some area is going to be like rock. I'm going to paint rock. I've often come to the like a top-down view and it can help you a little bit. 
and just trying to think of ways that, that can help you as you're making your own maps. That's the goal. This is the goal of these. Uh, a, I love to, to build things. I love working in the, the, the map editor of the game. Um, but then B, also just to give you all some ideas of how I... what I'm thinking when I'm making my own maps. For right or for wrong? And I'm doing this because I want to come in. I'm going to try and sculpt my road. I want to get my road as close to perfect as possible. It's not going to be perfect, again, in the amount of time that we have together. Um, but we can do as good of a job as possible. Um, for your adventure, for your map, you can you know spend however much time you want on it. And this is kind of the end of the road. Forgive the pun. Now we're going to start up this other side. And you're probably, you're laughing, like, why aren't you paying attention to... Don't worry. I promise you. I'm just throwing this grass down. We're going to come in and paint some other details on the, on the soft shoulder of this road. I like to put grass down in areas that are going to have a lot of, like, the, there's going to be a lot of grass. Go ahead and paint that now. Um, then you can come back in with your details. I'd rather paint my grass down and then come in with my big details than the opposite. And that is, like, putting your details in and then trying to get grass down. I feel like you end up trying to get grass in so many, like, tight little nooks and crannies that it just, it becomes difficult. And again, this isn't going to all be grass. There's going to be different um, textures and uh, ground layers in here. This is a, you know, this is a kind of a runoff area as it sits. So we'll have to paint that. We're going to put some trees in. Got a lot to do in a very little amount of time, folks. So let's do this. We're going to do it. We're going to get it done. I, I promise you, I'm, I, I don't think I've ever done one of these where I've gone over time and been like, oh, I'm done. I'm not going to complete it. Like, we're going to complete it even if we're over time. Just try and do 60 minutes because, um, I don't know, it's a challenge. It's a 60-minute speed build challenge. <laughs> All right, so now we've got our grass. Now, what I want to do is I'm going to make my soft shoulder. So I'm going to come in with some, um, probably some gravel on this. And this is where I'm going to start to be a little bit more cautious. Where I'm really going to try and follow as well as I can the road.
And I'm kind of hating that I used that, uh, what was that, forest ground? I should have probably used something different, but that's okay. So you're going to, you know, I don't really want forest ground showing on my road. A little mistake right there, we'll fix that. Made my arc a little off of what it should have been. That's way too tight right there. That's okay, we'll fix it. We'll fix it. Bringing this down. And the soft shoulder, I mean, or the, the, the gravel shoulder, it would be... You know, it's not going to be perfect on any road. down into the valley. Getting nervous, folks. Getting nervous. Is this going to turn out? gonna have to come in with grass there with paintable grass because I just messed that up what I could do is now put a layer of so there's kind of this gravel grass you could come in here now and like do gravel grass on the side to fix some of the the imperfections that I had there. That, I mean, that might be the, my saving grace. If you're still watching, comment. Am I going to get this done? Am I going to actually make something out of this? Like, I do because, well, I showed you, but... but yeah, we're going to get this done. <laughs> I got to get it done. I cannot fail. I might have made the road too long. That's okay. Again, map makers, actual map makers, like they're, if you're watching, you're probably laughing at me because you've got better ways to do this in Giants Editor. And hey, that's awesome. I would love to know how to do it. 
I don't have it. Someday. Someday. I still have got to build a computer. I mean, I've got a friend of the channel, Ronnie Gold, uh, from Ronnie Gold Gaming. Keeps me in check. Check his channel out, too, by the way, if you don't mind. Uh, he just built a computer. Talking me into to building something. I need to do it. I really do. But, man, stuff's expensive. Although, there's some really good things out there right now. I feel like technology... Uh... You know, like, prices are, are really good. You, you can get a really good bang for the buck. Um, and I've watched a ton of builds on YouTube of people. And I don't, I don't know. I don't know if I should do Intel or if I should do AMD. Um, one of the videos that I watched was like, you know, the best $1,500 computer you can build right now in 2024. And I think they use, like, an AMD processor and a Radeon 7900 XTX. Is that right? Is that terminology right? I don't know. I can't remember. I think that was what it was. Um, and apparently, like, really good combo. Didn't seem to be too terribly, like, expensive. So I don't know. Okay. <clears throat> Here's where we're at. So I'm going to add another layer to that. I, I like on the side of my roads to have, you know, not just like the road and then the grass. So I'm going to come in back into my plants and I'm going to find I've got some. Um, it is a like a really low level. Yeah, it's this. So I'm going to come back in. And now I'm going to add a third line of stuff in here where the um, that gravel grass gets like some slightly trimmed grass if that makes sense like DOT comes by here you know and tries to make this road uh, manageable they probably wouldn't be mowing up there but and that'll allow me to get some of the, like, this softer, shorter grass overlapping on the paintable gravel gra- gra- yeah, gravel grass. My, my term's all wrong. So there's just some overlap here. And again, it, I, th I think it adds uh, just some nice depth to, uh, to what you're making. And you might have to make your, you know, your brush a little smaller because, again, realistically, they're probably not going to be mowing up the side there. So this might get smaller here. And I guess it's okay that that's there, right? Oh, you know what we could do? I know what we can do. Because that bugs the crap out of me. Let me switch to my slightly larger one now. And we're slowly moving down the road. Again, just adding detail. And remembering, trying to remember at least, that the world is not perfect you know the world does not have these perfect like 90 degree lines perfect curves um some things are but you know man-made things they get cracks concrete cracks um concrete grass grows up through cracks um so it doesn't have to be Absolutely perfect. And that 
takes us down to here. All right, now we're going to keep adding detail. We're just going to keep adding detail um, until we feel like we're, you know, good and happy with what we've got. Okay, and then we're gonna we're gonna also go back and actually look at the road and try to make some determinations on if we need to do any flattening, any uh, any smoothing. But right now, I'd like to come into painting and I'd like to get some some actual rock in here. So I'd like to actually start looking at rock, and this is gonna go. Right along here, or along this face. And it's not going to go along the entire thing, because there's going to be grass. But where this was cut out... To make this road... That's where... You know, the rock is. Let's do that. Again, don't pay any attention to that over there. We just we did that early on to make it make it work. And then there'd probably be a little here as it's getting into that forest. Just a little bit. It wouldn't go too far down to the forest because we've got those nice trees. And this is where it starts to flatten out a little bit. So we might not have as much rock poking out. But we might still have a little bit. Just a little bit down here. So that little curve might have some rock on it. There might be some rock poking out here. You know, this area might have a little bit of rock. And we could change. There's granite in here as well. I do encourage you, you know, as you're making stuff... Um, don't feel like you have to stay with, you know, one color of something. Add a little granite and rock. It just gives it, you know, a little, little depth. It's like those happy clouds. I'm feeling better about this. I'm a little afraid to look at the time, though. Oh, shoot. See, I made a mistake there, but that's okay. We'll fix that. We will fix that. Okay, so let's fix this. Uh, so this needs to be that. Then I need to grab my gravel. Slightly different color of gravel there. Let's fix that. There we go. Then our gravel grass. There we go. Okay, we're doing okay. We're doing okay. Now, let's grab some plants. Let's let's maybe finish out some of our grass here. We've got a little overlap in some of that, which is completely fine. Because we're going to shift into some trees here shortly. We want to start getting some trees laid down. And we cannot forget about this area over here, too. So let's find um, a type of uh, area. What could this be? Let's make this... So this is like a little pull-off area. that. Then we'll put some of this in here. And, I, you know, I like to kind of follow what I was doing. So there's the gravel grass around. Uh, and then there might be some of that shorter grass. Here. The DOT has been so kind to come in and cut. Looks like I didn't continue right here with 
this, so I need to add that. There we go. That is such a steep. That would like be, uh, we're gonna have to work on that. We're gonna have to work on that. Okay, let's get this. Let's finish this out here. And I think we need to start getting and looking at trees here shortly. Trees are really fun. I love adding trees. Because I think that's where it really starts to come alive. I'm going to peek at the map. I'm going to the clock. I'm so sorry. I have to do it. Oh my gosh. We're at, a, we're at uh, an hour and seven minutes. All right. So I have officially failed on the time. Um, but I'm not stopping. We're continuing with this. Because we are going to give you a completed road that I can drive a semi-truck down. And, you know, or, or up. And we'll see if it's even possible to drive a loaded, like, fully loaded iron ore truck up this road. Take your bets. <laughs> Am I going to be able to take? Let's use the Volvo WIA. Um, to see if we can actually get up this road with a full, um, trailer of iron ore. And I realize we would be going down, but we're going to go up for what we're doing. We have to finish it first, though. So let's smooth this down a little bit. Okay, let's put some trees in. Now, I realize these would likely be ferns uh, or, or uh, pines or, you know, like, what are they? Uh, not carnivorous trees. Um, I, my mind's not working enough, but I'm going to throw some elms in here. It, I don't know. I love the elms in this game. I really do. I'm just going to sprinkle them in. A lot. Uh, and I've, I'm, I'm using, I'm using all the same size so far. Now I'm gonna come into a slightly smaller one. I want this to feel like it's really going, like you're going up a mountain. And we are gonna put like pines and stuff in here as well. Okay, let's throw in some. Now, let me go into there's there's um specific. Here we go. Those are oaks. There are spruce trees that are specific to no man's land. We're gonna put these in. going to put these everywhere. And we'll change size. Just trying to make them everywhere. Let's 
Let's put some really tall ones in now. I haven't crashed the computer yet. It, it could be coming, so stand by. <laughs> now, I, I, I'm fortunate I haven't had a crash from just adding trees. I don't know. Although I do know it can really bog you down. And there are mods out there to get more trees. Okay, we're going to have to do some work on that road. I can already tell. Okay, let's find... There are some really nice... Um, I think these are the stone pines. Yes. So we're going to have some stone pines sticking out from the rock. I like that. And then you can start to come in. You can come back into your painting tool. Uh, and you could, like, maybe choose... Um, we could do this, forest ground. And we could start to just sprinkle in... In some of the areas of the grass... Um, some forest land. Because it's not going to be this beautiful grass. Like... There's going to be um, erosion and dirt and stuff like that. So we'll sprinkle some of that in. And then maybe some dry grass. Put that down as well. Awesome. Now, let's grab some plants. Let's put some plants in. So you can start to see how this really starts to take shape. Um, you start to get these complex um, areas of the map. It was very bland, very boring uh, to begin with. And now as we're, you know, putting in... And I, I tend to just, for stuff like this, I'll, I'll you know, I'll, I'll get like a bush like this, and I'll just wiggle the mouse around and just put the darn bush everywhere. Change your sizing. You know, just... And then we can always come and we can grab some, you know, some flowers. Oops. Landscaping to plants. To, it's labeled as grass, but they're actually flowers. This is a, um, uh, a grass extension that I got from the Maze Plus Discord server, um, which is just a drag and drop like standalone mod for grasses which is really really cool I, I highly recommend you check it out again got it from the uh, maze plus discord server you know I didn't realize I'm sitting here I'm like I don't know the camera's kind of shaking a little bit as I'm as I'm moving the the mouse around sorry if it is do not mean to. Just sprinkling in some some of that, and then just change up, you know, again. 
almost the the more random you can throw in here, the better. Some other grass textures. Whoops. Got on my road. We don't want that, so we're going to come back into landscaping painting. We'll just paint that out. There we go. All right. Let's finalize our road. It's it's not looking terrible. Um, it's it's definitely it, it, it's steep in some areas, but I think we can fix that. So let's come up here into. We'll start on this curve right here. And we're going to come into landscaping. I'm going to go to my raisin lowering tool. I'm going to make this a little larger, and I'm going to slowly try and knock this down a little bit. It's killing my grass a little right there. I hate that, but I, I need to just knock this down just a touch because it is a little steep. Little steep. What I'm going to do is try and just... actually come in here to my leveling tool kind of fix this this way there we go it's working just very soft taps do not want to make though any major adjustments right now because we've already done so much softening tool. We might have to repaint some of that. That's okay. Okay, so let's come into our painting tool now for this particular area. And we're now going to make our brush bigger. And we're now going to make this is going to be grass. So that's not road anymore. That would not have been a good part to drive on. This is going to maybe cut in this way just a little bit more. Like that. Just make that turn a little bit sharp. And then we'll grab our uh, gravel. And I might even kind of extend that gravel up into here because you know there's going to be drivers that get the get the uh, rear wheels off of there a little bit. So there's that. I might even change the color up a little bit in some of that where it, you know, it just over time has gotten a little bit more messed up. That's significantly better than it was, I think. Uh, 
Excellent. Now let me grab some plants. Let's put some grass back in here. We'll go with this grass. It's interesting that some of my grass went away when I re-leveled. Some of it didn't. That is better? Um, let's come... It's better. It's not great by any means. Let's... Do that. Let me get some of that gravel grass. Yeah, there we go. And we'll just kind of bring this around like that. And you would have to, again, you can play with this all you want to make it absolutely perfect. But that's not terrible. And then it comes down here. That's okay. This is a little tight here, so let's come back into our sculpting tool. And let's soften this a little bit. I think where it gets problematic is right here. And we need to... we need to level this. So I'm going to come into my raising tool. We're going to raise this up a little right here. So we need to get that a little more... Like... So that we can get a darn truck down it, or up it. Because again, the goal is... We're going to take a... Volvo WIA. Fully loaded with uh, iron ore and we're going to see if we can get up this road that's better now let's take our softening tool and we'll soften this a little bit now I think this is a little off now, right here. We need to make... This probably needs to go down a touch over here. This might need to come up a little bit. This probably needs to come down ever so slightly. We might have to reroute our road just a little bit. I hope you can kind of get a, an idea what I'm doing there. I'm just, I'm trying to make it so the road is flat. Then I'm softening it out.
There's only so much you can do with softening, though. It's not going to completely cover up mistakes. But I feel like that's better. I know I say that a lot, but this is a fairly complicated little road build. As we're coming up through forest land, although there wasn't forest land here to begin with. We added those trees. But I feel like this is better. Again, you probably would want to do some work on the, uh, the painting. Oops, that is way too heavy of a... I used a really heavy brush right there, and that was a mistake. Heavy, heavy strength on that brush was not what I wanted to use. I'm trying to just... sculpt that just a little bit there. When in doubt, bring it back up. Again, if you're just joining us, I have failed on the time. This is usually a 60 minute speed build. I am way over on time. Uh, because this is a complex set of things we're doing here. Uh, we're changing the geometry of the ground, the road. We're, you know, adding um, grass. We're adding trees. We're going to add kind of the final thing here soon, which is guardrail. Um, but you can see, like, right here, I need to flatten this. That is, that is not acceptable. Like, a truck would completely flip over there. Um, so I'm going to come to my raise and lowering tool. And I'm probably going to spin around here. And I'm going to pull this to me. So I want to lower this. Trying to flatten that out. <laughs> and it looks terrible. Yes, I know. But I think we will be successful here. As long as I don't hit that water plane. I do not want to hit that water plane. There's a water plane in no man's land. I'm going to use the flattening tool. My advantage here a little bit. And I'm going to come in with the softening tool. And that's, that's better there. Before we had, you know, this was completely, that was not drivable. And we may need to come back in with our paintbrush and, you know, redirect that road just a little bit. Because you wouldn't have road painted on the side of your mountain since we made that change. We can come back in here with some grass. Like that. And we might, you know, the road might now... 
come this way a little more. Very tight turn right here now. Let's be cognizant of that. It's going to be difficult for our driver. Now let's grab our gravel grass. We'll fix our mistakes that we had. And let's then go ahead and add some rock back in here. Because this is now more of a, a face. Okay. Grab some actual grass and fill in some of those areas. Uh, and right there, maybe there's a... I don't know. Let's throw down some... I've always liked this grass. Just gives it a little bit more... Like a weed, I think. Let's fix that, too. I... Uh, you know, sometimes when you do make changes to um, terrain, you lose uh, some of your ground cover. So that's okay. We'll just put these weedy type grass right in here. Maybe there's just like a little field of it right there. Like that. Are you still with me? Have I bored you out of your mind? I hope not. I think these are, um, you know, someone could really make a freaking awesome, like, mountain pass with stuff like this. Like, with some major switchbacks. Um, you have to do better than what I'm doing right now. I think you could. Um... But some really extreme switchbacks uh, could be awesome. All right. I think we now need to come and put our um, uh, guardrail in. So guardrail, I'm going to be a little bit um, conservative with. Guardrail is available as a um, as a decorative item like a fence right here. But what you do need to be cognizant of is where your guardrail would be and the way it has to be put down. So, you know, in Farm Sim, when you put fencing down, as you go one direction, it, it, it's pointing one direction. Um, so we're going to be kind of conservative here. I feel like there would definitely be guardrail on this face of the uh, of the of the road because I mean that is a sheer drop off right there but as we get over here it's not as like the the guardrail might stop could so let's put our little edge piece in right there and we'll come down here and do the same. 
There's that. Now I think it would absolutely pick back up again over here. And yeah, we would want to move that direction. So it would probably... It would almost, I think, come in... Because this is a little break area. And slowly, like, rotate it around here. I do feel like it would likely continue. And this is where, I mean, again, this becomes aesthetics for you because you gotta be kinda careful with some of these fences. I don't like when you start to have, like, I don't like where curves are, um, what's the word I'm trying to say? Like, I don't know if that would be the way it is. Maybe, yeah, maybe it would. I try to make the curves as smooth as possible with guardrail. Or with any fence, honestly. If you're not careful with fencing, it can be too straight, if that makes any sense. And maybe that would be where it would end. I don't know. Um, uh, put that there, like that, and then maybe down here. Might be it. I don't know. There are probably some guardrail in other areas, but I, I don't want to get too focused on it. Um, would probably be guardrail here. Yeah. But I, I wouldn't have, like, a ton of it here, or it might actually come down, because, you know, you would, you wouldn't want to cut the road off. There we go. Let's just stop it about right there. And now we're, we're kind of down to um, decorative items, so... But remember, they're they're there for a reason. So you can put in, um, you know, signage like this, um, just to add a little bit of of realism. Uh, you know, there are like curve signs. You can find them here. So there's like a big downhill truck sign right there. So yeah, look out. Coming here, this is a big downhill area. Right there. Big downhill area right there. What I do not have are uh, lane markers. I wish there was a mod that you could um, paint lane lines just like uh, you do fencing. And I realize it would probably be very difficult um, because um, as you had terrain changes, it wouldn't likely like conform to the pavement properly. So I, I get it. I actually need to be really cognizant of what I'm doing because I don't have, um, <laughs> I'm getting some auto, um, terrain leveling there, so just be careful. I think we need to try and drive this, uh, to see if it's even possible. I'm a little concerned about how slow we are right now. But this is the road. Can we do it? No issues down here on the low part. Things are getting heavy.
no, it's not going to do it. <laughs> we want a job done right, and we want it done quick. What do we need? More power! Darn right, more power. All right, we're trying round two. We're going to run the Phoenix. Slightly modded. About a thousand horsepower. I don't have it fully decked out, but we do have an upgraded 1100 horsepower motor. We could go up to 1600. Remember, iron ore is really, really heavy, so we're going to see if the uh, 82 Studio Phoenix uh, will get up here. 18 speed. The Volvo WIA with 650 horsepower just couldn't cut it. Probably would have done just fine with, like, I don't know, sunflowers or, uh, you know, some other light load. But iron ore, it was not having it going up our freshly, freshly paved uh, diamondback road. Here we go. Let's see if we can do it. We're going to need a pretty low gear. I'm looking at our power consumption. We're at 97, 98%, 100% power consumption right now in this area. We're going to need a lower gear. Can the Phoenix do it? Oh, come on, Phoenix. You can do this. Yes. We are just crawling up this mountain right now. First gear, but this is iron ore, folks. This is some absolutely heavy, heavy material. No issues. It's getting up. This is one of the hardest sections of this road. You can see we, we, we would need to have come in and tweaked it a little bit, made some things uh, a little smoother here and there, but for doing this and the amount of time that we had uh, in the area that was here, I think we did a pretty good job together, so let's see if we can get her shifted into second. 100% power, we're going 8 miles an hour up this hill, but that was one of the most difficult sections of this, and we are wide open. I mean, the exhaust gas temperatures would be through the roof. Let's grab third. Here we go. Into fourth. We're on some leveler ground now, so we've got 18 speeds. We're going to use them. Now, if I had to go back and do it, I would have smoothed this section out a little bit more. We're going to try to hold as much momentum as we can going up this section. Oh, boy. It's rough. Fourth gear down to second. It is pulling the front tire off the ground. But it is doing it. It is doing it. I don't know how it's doing it, but it is. Basically, at the governor at 2,000 RPM. And again, you could see here where we would have need to have made, again, a little more smoothing. We would have gotten it taken care of if we had more time. Drop her down some gears. Come on, buddy. Into first. Traction. Uh, I don't know how this thing is doing it, but it is. Pulling that left front wheel off the ground. The Phoenix with 1,100 horsepower. It is doing it. This is a full load of iron ore into second. We are almost to Iron Peaks Mining Company. Grabbing third. Will it do it? Yes, it will. No issues whatsoever for the Phoenix. So not an easy challenge. Uh, to go from just a mountain to a an area of road that is drivable and gives you this beautiful switchback um, configuration going up this mountain. You can do this better than I did. 
Uh, I clearly did not make this as well as I should have. Uh, we need more time. It's absolutely doable. Um, and, and I think you could, uh, you know, you could smooth out some of the, uh, some of the transitions, some of the banking, and it would be a really smooth road. I think you could really take this to an extreme and go, uh, up a mountain and it would be, uh, really, really cool to do some role playing while you're hauling logs or, or iron ore. But just remember, you need horsepower for this. I, I worked up a sweat, like really, really fearful that I wasn't going to get that done, but I, I think it turned out fairly well. Uh, thank you so much for being here with me and watching the channel and watching this build. Not as speedy as it could have been, but hey, we'll get back to some 60 minute speed builds on some farms. I just wanted to show you how you could make some switchbacks up a mountain and do it yourself in the game editor inside the game, not just the giant's editor. You can do this. I know you can. Go out, make something better than I just did. We'll see you next time, right here on the farm with the Stovers.